the No Fade channel, checking in. And who needs an easy bar for their home gym? Nobody. Who should have an easy bar in their home gym? Everybody. And that is why on this episode of Dad's Home Gym, I am reviewing the Rep Fitness Easy Bar, and I'm gonna be giving you some of my favorite easy bar exercises that go a bit more beyond your standard easy bar curl. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, do me a huge favor. Give this video a like and hit that red subscribe button. On this Dad's Home Gym series, I just review a piece of home gym equipment on every episode to help you decide if it's right for your home gym, if it is going to exceed your expectations, if you're gonna get more use out of it than you initially think, and most importantly, if it's worth your hard earned money. First, comment below, do you have an easy bar in your home gym? I think everyone should, even though they're not necessarily needed. Now, off the top, I wanna to give a huge thank you to everyone who has been using my affiliate links. They're in the description of today's video. Those links help me out and that money generated from those links right back into the channel. And that's how I was able to pick up this easy bar in order to review it for you. Weighing in at 30 massive pounds, this easy bar costs $150, dollars, dollars. Now, Rep Fitness just changed their entire pricing scheme and they put all of the shipping charges into the product so that there's no more shipping charges, which is nice as a consumer. You go to the website, the price you see is the price you pay. You're not gonna get smashed at the end with a massive shipping charge. This is does sit on the rack, but it's not the rack loadable version because you can't actually put plates on it. Um, I didn't need the rack loadable version, even though I own a rack, and we'll get into the details of why you would or wouldn't want the $200 rack loadable version um, later on in this video. This non-rack loadable version comes with a 10 inch massive sleeve with regards to loading up plates. As far as spin, it does have one bushing and one needle bearing. The spin is smooth, it's nice, it's comfortable, and extremely easy on the wrist. Rep Fitness Easy Bar comes with dual medium knurling on the outer and the inner grips. It is extremely comfortable, and I'll tell you right now, the knurling is pristine. It does have a hard chrome finish. This can be purchased in stainless steel. Obviously, in my home basement gym, I don't need stainless steel. Um, I'm able to regulate the humidity down here relatively well with the dehumidifier. Maybe if you're in a garage type environment, you could go stainless steel, but even then, I don't necessarily know if it is needed. Before I give you my final opinion and thoughts after using this Easy Bar for the better part of three weeks, I wanna give you the top four Easy Bar exercises and one honorable mention. Number one, you already guessed it, curls for the girls. All right, it is always good to do bicep curls on an easy bar. Okay, your wrists are in a much more natural, neutral position, a lot less tension on the wrist, and it allows you to focus a bit more on the bicep than a straight bar would, just because you're not worried about your wrist going to Snap City. I happen to find that it activates the biceps a bit better, at least for me, at least in my head, and it's just a lot more comfortable, allowing me to go with more weight with and with better form than it, I would with a regular straight bar. Also, many of you, number two on my list, skull crushers. It's a great way to hit triceps, load up the bar, get a lot of weight on those triceps, and just go to town. And it's nice, skull crushers are a great exercise because they're technically self-spotting. If you can't do it, if you can't do a skull crusher with your easy bar, Okay, you can simply tuck the bar in and now you have most of the weight on your chest and you're able to either push it up like a bench press or just kind of roll it up yourself. But by no means do you need a spotter on that easy bar skull crusher exercise. One other exercise that I think a lot of people overlook, number three on my list is going to be for your biceps as well, but it is a reverse bicep curl. Okay, so many people overlook this exercise because it doesn't necessarily hit your bicep. It hits the muscle right underneath your bicep that many people are lagging in. And it's always great to hit those arms on multiple angles and multiple levels. The fourth exercise on this that I think probably most of you, if not all of you, don't do bent over rows. Now, bent over rows 
a beautiful back exercise, a great back exercise to build mass, to get depth, and to just get an overall, all around great emphasis on building up that big, big muscular back. Most people use a straight bar, and that's great, it works. Unfortunately, it is tough on the wrist, especially at heavier, heavier weight. And I have found with an easy bar, you really can get that bar nice up and tight to the stomach, getting a real full pull without jacking up your wrist. A super excellent exercise that most people overlook. And the fifth, and this is an honorable mention, is going to be a close grip bench press. And this is one of the things I like to kind of circuit with my skull crushers. You know, you do some skull crushers, you finish off, the weight is on your chest, and you just push that weight out, activating all of your triceps. Beautiful exercise, and again, you can do it with the straight bar, but it hits different and it's not gonna jack up your wrist. Let's just talk, to, let's just talk facts, okay? Overall, is this a beautiful easy bar? Absolutely. Is this more of an easy bar than I need for my needs? A hundred percent. I can get away with the cheapo hundred dollar easy bars that are sold all over the place. Amazon, you know what I'm talking about. $150. Is that a bit of a bite to take out of an easy bar? Yeah. Listen, $150 is a lot of money for anybody. Here's what I'll tell you. It is a better easy bar than you're going to find at that hundred dollar mark and it is going to last you forever. I mean, this thing is gonna fill all of your needs. I can't imagine that you're gonna use up all of this bar space, even with massive economic bumper plates that are you know, three inches wide for a 45 pound plate. It's gonna get the job done, and once you pay for it once and you cry once, you'll own it forever. And it's one of those things, you can go cheap and it might get the job done, sure, but you might be regretting it a few years down the road and you're gonna end up selling that cheapo one for a lot less and just picking up something nicer for your home gym. I would argue one of the nice things about having home gym as a hobby is that when you spend the money on your hobby, it's not something that sits around. It's something that you use and it's not something that depreciates because it is always going to be an easy bar. Um, with regards to companies, I happen to find Rep Fitness offers great value, which means you spend money, but then you get a good quality bar in return. Remember, price is what you pay, value is what you get. As I already mentioned, I don't think you need the stainless steel version. I think this hard chrome version is going to last well beyond your lifetime, unless you live on the ocean and you have a garage gym where salt and humidity is a massive factor. Do you need a rackable easy bar at that $200 price point? And the answer is no. I don't think many of you are gonna need a rackable easy bar because most of the exercises I already mentioned are self-spotting. If you have a rack and you do plan to simply do all of your exercises within that rack, then you might wanna consider getting a rackable easy bar. I happen to think the rackable easy bar would be exceptionally good, especially if you're trying to do like close grip bench presses, making it like an auxiliary bar because you can rack and unrack that weight very, very easily, especially when you were going at the heavier, heavier weights or the higher limits of your weight threshold. You get those safeties in there to kind of help you out in case of an emergency. Overall, I think this, is, this bar is going to be exceptional for 99% of the people watching this video. So I have a rack, as you can plainly see. So why didn't I bother getting the rackable version? Um, and I did some soul searching, and I think you should too. And the honest answer is, Every exercise that I plan to do with this bar is going to be on the opposite side of this bench. I'm not going to need the rack for those exercises. And the wider the bar, it's going to be a bit more difficult to store, a bit more difficult to maneuver when it's moving it around my home gym. And I thought that was just going to be unnecessary. If you have a rack and you expect to be doing some of your exercises with the easy bar inside the rack, hey, by all means, you definitely should get the rackable version but those are questions that you have to answer for yourself. I want to know from you, comment below, do you already have an easy bar in your home gym? And if so, what is your favorite exercise to do with it besides curls for the girls? Now, if you are interested in Rep Fitness, I'll put an affiliate link in the description. I personally have been a fan of theirs. Their customer service is the best that I have found. The delivery driver on one of my shipments the delivery actually came damaged and missing components, believe it or not. Not Rep Fitness's fault at all. Something went fugazi with the delivery and it looked like a bomb hit the pallet. 
I made one email, they called me immediately, it was resolved that day, and I'll tell you straight away, they resolve it 100% of the way to make sure that you're happy with the resolution, and they aren't hard to find, which is always nice. I've been a big fan of theirs because they deliver high value for their prices, and that's why I continue to go through Rep Fitness for some of my home gym equipment needs and desires. If you came this far in the video, give the video a like and hit that red subscribe button. It helps the channel grow. It's appreciated. If you came this far in the video as well, you are an absolute champion. It's appreciated. Thank you. So many people don't make it to the end of the video and YouTube penalizes the heck out of me for it. As usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back. This channel is dedicated to my life as a father of two wonderful children and it centers around health, fitness, and all of the tricks and tribulations that I go through to try to be a great parent to my children and still accomplish my own personal goals.